Evil is pretty much the archetypical survival horror game with a huge emphasis put on resource management and the tension that comes from being perpetually low on supplies. While you could certainly bust a cap in every zombie shambling around the Spencer Mansion, it'd be a huge waste of your precious ammo, so you're usually better off running right past them. After all, zombies are too slow and too stupid to ever give chase, right? Right? The Nemesis T-Type is a bioorganic weapon, BOW for short, created by the Sinister Umbrella Pharmaceutical Corporation, the long-running antagonist of the Resident Evil franchise. Stars. This big bad boy is the result of combining a tyrant zombie with the Nemesis Alpha Virus, which essentially instills it with near-human level intellect, allowing it to think tactically, identify potential threats, and even use handled weapons. Of course, it's still a zombie and thus acts more like an undead hulk than an actual person, but in this case, it's literally the thought that counts. Of the many Nemesis T-types manufactured, only one is known to have been commissioned for active duty. Nicknamed The Pursuer, it was airdropped into Raccoon City in the midst of a zombie outbreak in order to test its capabilities. Its mission, to track down and silence the members of STARS, the special police squad whose efforts during the first Resident Evil game uncovered Umbrella's illegal bioweapons research. So that the mega corporation could have any proof of its wrongdoings wiped away. Old Nemi functions as the primary antagonist of Resident Evil 3, pursuing player-controlled star survivor Jill Valentine relentlessly as she attempts to make it out of Raccoon City in one piece. Clad in some slick biker leathers and with bazooka in hand, the pursuer's in-game role lies somewhere between a normal enemy and a boss. In addition to some exciting mandatory encounters, the ungrateful undead will, true to its name, follow you all across the city. Showing up to crash your fun whenever the game feels like you're getting just a little too comfortable. In that sense, it's a lot like Mr. X Tyrant encountered in Resident Evil 2, albeit with greater persistence and far less taste in snazzy headwear. It takes on many forms over the course of the game, each more threatening and disgusting than the last. But you can never truly stop it, only slow down its Terminator-esque onslaught while struggling to survive the horde. Nemesis is making its grand return in the upcoming Resident Evil 3 remake, after nearly a decade MIA this time equipped with a flamethrower and a brand new nose so he could finally appreciate the smell of napalm in the morning. Nothing could stop this mammoth mutant. Dread it, run from it, Nemesis arrives all the same.